There continues to be a rise in positive COVID-19 cases in our state, but there is again a drop in the number of hospitalizations. Right now, almost 24,000 people have been infected with COVID-19 in our state, and more than 1,700 people have died. Almost 1,900 folks are being treated right now at local hospitals, but that number is down for a second consecutive day. More than 74,000 people have been tested so far. And the state's reopening committee says they are working aggressively to come up with a plan after the tentative May 20th reopen date was pushed back to early June. Members of the governor's committee say they are trying to balance reopening with the proper safety protocols. At the same time, local businesses are trying to cope with the changes. I think we need to do whatever we need to do to keep the general public healthy. I am very cautious about getting back to normal too quickly. And a member of the reopening committee is suggesting businesses take this time to look at how they can change their business model and create a plan for a new way of operating. University of Connecticut is extending remote distance learning. All summer classes will now be online. The university president is asking faculty, staff, and students to prepare for the possibility of the same scenario in the fall. Channel 3's Eyewitness News reporter Carolina Cruz is live now from stores with what the university is considering. So what's going on, Carolina? Well, we know that clinicals and other courses that require in-person teaching and learning would be the only ones that would be exempt from this. But in a letter to the university, President Tom Katsileas, he called this an unusual, an extraordinary, extraordinarily unusual semester. Though no decision has been made, faculty were told to plan as if though classes will continue online in the next school year. Teachers have been working with university officials to see what starting classes back up this fall would look like. The scenarios include keeping most courses online or returning to an all person instruction and having all students return to campus with safety modifications. The priority right now, though, in under all of those scenarios is to provide enough online options for students who are in the risk categories are not comfortable returning to campus and those international students who are unable to return due to travel restrictions. But before making a decision, the university leadership will weigh guidance from public health experts, state and federal government decisions, and the available availability of testing. We know that the University Board of Trustees will be voting and announcing a decision by June 30th. And something interesting, Roger, is that when all of these classes here on campus shifted to online learning, like many other schools, the university started a COVID-19 class, and that is now the biggest class in history history here at UConn goes to show just how much people want to learn about, you know, what is happening with COVID-19 and its effects. Reporting in stores, I'm Carolina Cruz, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.